All right, here's the E8 version 3. Uh, the development process is uh, completed on this. We're about to open pre-ordering. As you can see, as opposed to the original, I'm sorry, not the original, the version 2, we went up to a large foam surround. This is the same foam surround we originally tooled for the SA8. Approximately the same size as the one we use in the V2. We go around here to the back. We've uh, updated the basket to be more similar to the rest of the E-line. We've added the full 8mm tall spacer from the last version of the SA8 V1.5. Got a nice little double stack magnet here. Basically, this is the same motor which you're going to be seeing coming up on the rest of the E-Line at some point next year. It uh, has the same coil as the E10-1215. Um, spider here is a... can't really see very well. It's the same spider we used on the last version of the S8 V1.5 before we released the V2. Um, this driver here is rated for 300 watts pretty conservatively. So we're going to take it. Got our test bench here, 2500. CD player. This one's wired to 2 ohm. We're going to play it, see how much excursion we can get out of it. That's really not bad for an entry level woofer. You know, this thing's going to be selling for under 100 bucks. Um, really, all you need to be anywhere near the 300 watt rating on it. Although it's pretty underrated, um, it's really not the, the power handling is not going to be that much less in reality than the original version of the SA8 V1 and V1.5. It's got a little bit shorter coil, but uh, not, not a tremendous amount shorter. And uh, we're going to compare it to the SD2 and the SA8 V2 here as well in depth. You can see it's a little bit deeper than the SD2 model. And also, unlike the SD2, the magnet is vented, so it does need some room behind the motor. And then we have the S8 V2 here that I'm sure that everybody's familiar with, which also has the solid back plate as well. But uh, significantly less depth than the S8 V2, and just a little bit more than half the cost of the S8 V2. You know, for a lot of people, and that's what they're looking for. They don't really necessarily need what the S8 V2 is capable of or that maybe they can't fit it uh, for one reason or the other. In that case, the E8 version 3 is a great option for you guys. But that's it. The pre-order is opening on these drivers. Uh, pick them up while, while they're on special.